yeah hi guys welcome back to my channel again so in this video we are going to talk about the verify and assert part okay so what is the difference with differentiate between the verify and assert so first i will tell you some definition and then we will see the uh, practical execution part so verify uh, have also a same call as assert like uh, uh, assert visible assert element percent like this way but only difference is if verify fails okay if verify fails it will continue running the script when while assert will fail it will stop the execution okay i will tell you uh, with the help of an example so let's move to the code part okay so not this one we have to go to the editor okay yeah i am just copying this lines of code from here okay or i will run this one only okay you already know about these things but yeah so this line of code is not there suppose for an example okay okay so let's write the new lines of code here first so i will write browser dot url okay and give okay fine and give some pause give some pause of two second see what i am going to do here now okay okay we are going to see so first this assertion i will show you the text first okay i will show you the website first just copy this one go to this tab okay so this is the website which i am talking about so if you see here na so asset versus verify text uh, percent for the first time okay if you are using assert then it should be present and then it will assertion will be passed but what happen if you give the negative assertion for the same text it will fail which we have already seen in the previous lecture but if we use the verify word na if you use the verify so verify will execute uh, the next step also even it is failed okay see how see how assertion is there we are checking this text is present if it is present so it's a passed this time it will pass again we are giving the same condition with with not condition it means it should fail if it is should it should fail also with the uh, it should fail but it won't go to this one because assertion will stop the execution but verify will continue the execution okay let's see how just run this first file name is assert expert text okay go to the command prompt we will choose that file okay this one run it so first time assertion will pass okay second assertion will fail so third execution won't happen okay first is passed second will fail second will fail and it will stop the execution it will execute the uh, it will stop the execution yeah see it will execute the ex uh, uh, it uh, will not execute the next steps okay next step is we are querying some url also okay but if you use verify here if you use verify here and run this now so this time if it is fail also na it will execute the script okay so this is the difference here okay run it let's see the theory but theoretical part is good but i want to give you some demonstration also so that you can understand about these things this time also it will fail okay but now the execution will want to stop okay so first you can see here it is pass second it is fail but you can see here google.com see google.com is open here okay so this is the beauty of verify even if it is fail it will continue the execution but if you use assert here it will stop at this line only where where the assertion got failed do you understand okay now for the second part uh, we will move to the next next uh, uh, file we'll create one next file and we will write like wait for let's give wait for okay we are checking the wait for element okay wait for dot js not forget to give dot js okay i am just writing this lines of code here again copying and pasting here okay just remove this three lines of code just remove this comment as well okay now we will give this semicolon and one more semicolon now perfect now this time i am using this some other website so for this one wait for element present i am using this one okay just copy this one go to the code editor and replace the previous browser link with this one okay Uh, why there is a gap okay no need to give the gap control s go to the editor the file name is wait for okay fine now here we have to give the certain file name okay our file name is wait for just run it 
so this time it will open the simple browser uh, one uh, we can say one website it will open it's a normal query normal fetching query okay fine it will close the browser let's understand what we are going to discuss in this one okay so let's go to the browser part remove this one now we have to land into this page okay now we will see number one is present but number two will come after sometimes okay it will take around two times two seconds three seconds it will come then number one will go on and now number two will go now okay so you can see here na? so from number one to number two there are some pause okay so we have to wait for number two element to fetch the data right let's see okay uh, this one number two has gone just re refresh it again so that we can fetch the element so first time element is there element one is there copy the selector element two is not present okay now element two is present element two is also present now okay so let's see how to do this element how to uh, do operations on this element okay so what we are going now we are just checking we are checking browser dot assert dot visible and give the id give some okay just don't use this one okay don't use this one okay or run it go there run it so it will fail it will face the number one no this time it will pass okay because it will fetch the number one number one element okay see one assertion passed right why assertion passed number one is there but if you want to check the number two if you want to check the number two save it go there and run it so this time it will fail number one will pass but number two will fail because it is taking some amount of time to appear number two as we have seen in the demonstration okay number one is there but it will fail this is fail okay why because it is taking some time to visible this element so what we will do now we will add some command here okay whether we can use pause as we know that it will take around seven seconds then we will directly rise directly write browser dot pause as we are using before but we are not using this one okay let's see what we are using instead of browser dot pause okay so browser dot assert will be there okay so not this assert we will doing what we will add now browser dot wet for element okay wet for element and uh, we have to write visible okay no need to give space just give in this format and then give the tag give the id okay just in double quotes give element to and inside this only we will give a pause just give a pause of three seconds okay no dot we have to use comma okay now save it or oh, directly you can give 3000 not an issue okay it's only three second gap we are giving just run it so what we are doing here now we are giving night watch a command like wet for the element to be visible okay we are giving this one so let's see either it is passing or it is getting failed we will see in this video okay it is getting failed again okay means we have to give the pause condition like we have to increase the we have to increase the pause uh, let give nine seconds okay now run it this time it should pass Let it be open sometime it will take time to open but yeah definitely it will open number one is there it will wait for the element and then number two will be present okay you can see now assertion is passed right so it wait for some times okay you can see here so second assertion will take this amount of time to load the uh, second button okay eight second it will take to open the button so we have given nine second that's why it is passed so this one okay so this things i have to discuss with you that browser dot wet element this is also very important property when you are working with any e-commerce site okay and if you talk about the negative one so you can write like this like now after some time the number won't be present right so we will write the negative scenario also 
नेगेटिव सिनारियो नॉट नेगेटिव असर्सन ब्राउज़र डॉट असर्ट डॉट नॉट डॉट एलिमेंट प्रेजेंट ओके एंड गिव द सी एस एस पाथ दैट इज दिस वन ओके आफ्टर समाइम द एलिमेंट वन 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 बी प्रेजेंट राइट इन डबल कोर्स जस्ट गिव दिस वैल्यू एंड सेव इट गो देयर एंड रन इट अगेन सो नाउ सेकेंड इंस वी आर चेकिंग लाइक एलिमेंट वन विल नॉट बी प्रेजेंट नाउ ओके नंबर वन इज नंबर टू इज देयर नंबर वन वॉन्ट बी देयर नंबर वन बी देयर ओके सो इट इज सेंग पास बिकॉज आफ्टर सम टाइम एलिमेंट वन विल बी डिसपियर दैट्स वाई दिस एस एस इन इज ऑल्सो वैलिड सो एज वी हैव रिटिंग रिटर्न विजिबल हेयर वी कैन यूज अ प्रेजेंट ऑल्सो ओके वी कैन यूज अ प्रेजेंट ऑल्सो सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस विजिबल यू कैन यूज अ प्रेजेंट ऑल्सो आई विल सो यू वन एग्जाम्पल लेट सी ओके सो लेट्स रिमूव दिस कंडीशन वी विल यूज द प्रेजेंट वन ओके बोथ आर सेम जस्ट राइटिंग सिंटेक्स इज डिफरेंट ब्राउजर डॉट एस आर्ट अट एस आर्ट सॉरी वी आर राइटिंग वेट ना वेट फॉर एलिमेंट प्रेजेंट नॉट सी Okay, and then we have to give the CSS. Let's copy the CSS from there only. Okay, okay, yeah. See, ah, uh, here we are giving the nine second. Okay, but here we are not giving any nine second. We are just saying like wait for element percent. That's it. Okay, and it should not be present after some time. Then let it be like the same way. Then we will run the script and we'll see. ओके जस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस एफ कैपिटल ई शुड बी कैपिटल एंड पी शुड बी कैपिटल हेयर ई एंड वी शुड बी कैपिटल दिस इज अंटेक्स ओके दिस इज अ हार्ड कॉर्ड सेंटेक्स यू हैव टू फॉलो द सेंटेक्स एज वेल ओके इफ यू गिव ई स्मॉल एंड एन इन चेंजेस इफ यू विल डू सो योर स्क्रिप्ट विल बी फेलिंग ओके सो लाइक हाउ वी आर चेक विद विजिबल ना सो विजिबल वी हैव टू गिव एन गिव अ पॉज कंडीशन बट एलिमेंट वी आर यूजिंग डायरेक्टली ओके Okay, so what it is saying? Browser dot reset dot dot not element. Oh, <laughs> you are using negative scenario. Okay. We are checking first. We have to check element is percent or not. Okay. Okay, my bad. But you will understand the concept. That is also negative scenario. We are going to check. But now see the first uh, positive scenario. Okay. So it will wait. The element should be present. Okay. Uh, yes, you can see all the system has passed. Now give it element. Two, okay. Uh, not not this one. Okay, just remove this condition as of now. Okay, we have to wait for element percent. Okay, just go there, run it. So it will wait till element two will present. Okay. Okay, so you can see the assertion has passed now. So you can use either visible or either assertion based on your uh, convenient. Okay, so as of now, all are good. All things are uh, done from my end. Okay, yeah. One more thing I will tell you mm, that is not required, but yeah, I think you have to learn about this one. Now, whatever the uh, test cases we are running, we are running uh, with the browser. But now we are we will run. uh with without a url okay without the uh, browser we will run in a headless mode so how to run in a headless mode so same it will be okay and after that one we have to write like headless okay so this time what you will say you won't see any uh, you won't see any google chrome uh, popo populating okay see we can't see it's saying assertion pass but we didn't see any pop up of Uh, google chrome right so this is a headless one so i think uh, you should know that's why i have given so you can also write like you want to you don't want to see the again and again gui of google so you can write like this uh, hyphen hyphen headless and you can run your uh, script in a headless mode okay guys so 
all good from my end uh, happy learning okay if you have any doubt anything you have to ask just ping in a comment section we will see all the things so guys bye bye thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel